Okay, so it's now dry. Multiple coats of sanding sealer on it. Over. And put some double sided woodworking tape on it. My go to is X Fasten. Then I like to square things off with a board that I know is flat and straight, equal length. Put it up against the edge. Okay. I'm going to get all the air pockets out of it. And just grab the underside, pull this way. A little bit of pressure. I don't want to like really push down on it. But again, you want all of the air out. And then I've had issues in the past leaving this long. It catches on the brush of the dust boot. So I have to come back and trim it. to make sure that the edges don't peel up. Cool. I'm ready to carve. All right, here's where I'm probably gonna lose most of you, um, unless you're a savvy at the CNC already. So your carve is, has usually has two reference points. It's gonna be either from a corner, uh, lower left is, is the most pronounced, um, or it's in the center. Uh, if you have a bit change, it's best to do the location where you're not going to carve. Um, and I think that because what I was doing, I was doing the center, but I blew everything up and I had to move everything in. And I'm afraid that I'm going to, I won't have the right Z height, but you know, the second bit's going to be a profile bit. So if it cuts down the table a little bit, I'll be all right. It'll be okay. All right, moving on. Crisis averted. So, uh, like I said, that when I wrote the program, it's supposed to be centered. So boom. it's 10 inches wide. So I go to five. And then it's, I cut this one super wonky, um, but we are at 16 and 7 eighths. All right, so right here. And All right, with my CNC in particular, uh, because especially because I use the table itself a lot uh, for projects, sometimes things get out of whack. So one of the things I like to do is bring the gantry all the way forward, so then I know it's square. There we are. Now 
I'm gonna. So I have it all the way up here. I'm gonna move the dust boot up so I can see the bit. And here's where we fine tune everything. Now that it's touching and it's in the center of the board, I will lower the dust boot. set my X, Y, and Z zero to where it's at right now. Okay, so everything's zeroed out. Then I'll raise it up a tenth of an inch, pick the code I want to run, and I'll turn on the router. It's going to get loud. And once the router's uh, spun up, I will hit go. Time to reveal. Right. I definitely had some issues with this carve. This is actually my second attempt. Um, first one, it wasn't perfectly flat. And um, yeah, so the carve didn't go through. Uh, I flattened it on the CNC, which made it level and trammed to the router. And now I have a very nice, very nice card. So I'm going to clean this off. Try to get all the excess. Excess stuff out of here, out of the carve. And then we need to hit it with sanding sealer again. I'll leave it the way it is, blow it off the air, spray it with sanding sealer, and then it goes back on the table to get cut out. The perimeter is going to get cut out in the shape of the island. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, I really like that double sided tape and the three strips that I got on there, I can't even get it off. So I use this. Uh, little putty knife, little plastic putty knife, so it doesn't damage your work to get under there. Now it's gonna dry and go to work. Come back, hit it with some spray paint. Whew. Man, that's gonna be scary. Poor no return. Hit it with uh, some black spray paint and then toss it back up on the CNC and carve. 